He's the star of the show at the Warren County Fair. Well, shake hands, Jack. The boxing kangaroo entered the ring, gloves on and boxer trunks, ready for a heavyweight bout. I don't have any problem with it. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. <laughs> the only thing different about what this kangaroo does with us and what the kangaroo does in the wild, they don't wear shorts or boxing gloves. But the fun was lost on some. Did you like the kangaroo? No. The kangaroo act, part of the Star Family Circus, made others uncomfortable. To me, any circus animal, I don't quite think it's right. These aren't real punches in the five-minute show. The kangaroo and clown are, well, clowning around. It's a Kodak moment. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> the nine-year-old kangaroo is an old pro. He's been with the circus seven years. The gloves and harness, those are for the clown's protection. When Jack performs, he travels in an air-conditioned trailer. Any complaints of cruelty have been checked out by the USDA. They inspect him, they, we have health certificates, we have a, a health inspector that comes out to my house. She has the paperwork to prove it, but people for the ethical treatment of animals said in a statement that boxing kangaroos are harassed and bullied into defending themselves. They suffer immensely from the intense confinement, constant travel, cruel training and stress. We would never ever you know, hurt the kangaroo, for goodness sakes, he's, he's my baby, he's a star. I mean, it doesn't look like they mistreat him or anything. You ready? It's not meant to be a boxing routine, it's a comedy routine. And while not everyone is laughing, the boxing kangaroo still draws a crowd. In Front Royal, Sherry Lee, Fox 5 News. Well, Uncle Jim, I thought you might want to do a little dancing. No way. <laughs> you heard the cue. Uh, as a male kangaroo like this, <laughs> we'll challenge another male for dominance. Uh, we've got a couple of tricks up their sleeves. Uh, I'll see you. Just relax a second. Hold on. Not prepared. Wait. Have you had your test off for a kangaroo? <laughs> Amazingly, they can turn their ears 180 degrees each side. So what happens when you pop him, Brian? He can listen for, for a predator on the run. But uh, right now, it's all about testosterone. He's going to be challenging me for the young lady that's in the back room. Now, some of you haven't seen her. She's got a, a baby in her pouch. Casey. Uh, all right. The trick that I was about to tell you is when I gear up and get ready to punch him in the snout, hold on, I'm going to punch you right Just Let me get one good shot in. Right, right. Hey, right. See how his head goes back? Oh, I think we better end this, right? <laughs> Obviously, they don't want to actually punch faces, they just want to show you stuff. Uh, scratch the belly there. Are you watching how the tail is, is balancing and is acting like a third leg? Yeah, they call them a tripod. Right, and the kangaroo has the most efficient way of traveling. If you have a long tail, you have much more efficiency when you walk around, so it gives you an idea of it. 25 feet in each hop and 13 feet straight up from no from okay. no minimum. All right. Now, if he were actually doing this for real, which he is, it was only a show. He would grab his opponent around the waist and give a deep power blow. Now, let's get a round of applause for Ron Sable.